So here's my Genrac RS 5500 uh, generator. Um, I was able to use it this past week. Had to run it for almost six days. Obviously had to stop it to fill it uh, at least once once a day. Um, it would run about 12 hours on a, um, a fill. Uh, the fill capacity is 6.7 gallons. Um, so now I'm going to change the oil. This is the dipstick right here. This is the nut I have to unscrew. I put uh, the generator up on blocks. Um, actually was able to get a couple of blocks from the place that builds log cabins. So I just stuck it up on blocks and um, now I'm gonna just uh, unscrew the drain plug. So here's the drain plug. I decided to use an open end wrench to, uh, to loosen it. And so let's give it a shot. Pretty easy. Just gonna unscrew it. Oil should come gushing out. There we go. Might have to tilt it after a while just to get everything out. You can see how dark it is. It's been running for the last five days pretty much continuously. And this is essentially the first time we've had to use it. Actually the second time, but the first time was just like for a day. That's just a few weeks ago. We had a pretty bad storm up here in the White Mountains um, about a week ago. And uh, so let's let this drain and um, we'll fill it with some SAE W, uh, SAE 5W30 synthetic, which is probably a good choice for all different temperatures. That's what it was said in the manual. Um, so uh, let's let this drain and uh, we'll get back here in a second. So it looks like all of the oil is drained. Still have the drain plug off. You can see there's a little bit of um, a little bit of oil at the bottom there that I can just wipe off. But I think I'm not going to tilt it. I think um, just filling it now will be the way to go. I bought uh, two quarts of SAE 5W30 synthetic. Um, I'm only going to use just over a quart. Uh, the, the oil capacity for my model is 1.06 quarts. So I'm just going to keep the rest of the second one. Um, if I have to, you know, add some more oil after the fact. Um, over the next few months. But, um, so the next step is to obviously put the, the drain plug back in which I'll do right now. Drain plug has a, a washer um, that comes with this metal washer. Now I actually have a half inch open end wrench here. So I'm just gonna tighten. Not crazy, just snug so it should be good I want to uh, just uh, rinse just uh, clean up around it just make sure when I start adding oil I don't see any leaks so obviously the next step is to take off the dipstick take out the dipstick and fill it from here So I bought this um, nice long funnel, perfect for filling up oil on my generator. As you can see, I have the RS5500 
Generac. And uh, so let's fill, let's add at least one of the quarts and then a little bit more. So I just added uh, one quart. And what I'm going to do is um, test it with the dipstick right now. There's a dipstick. Um, top is H, bottom is L. You want to get it as close to H as possible. Big difference uh, in the color, obviously, of the oil now after it had been running for almost five days, five and five and a half days. You can see right now it's, uh, I don't know, it's um, not all the way to the H, but pretty, pretty darn close. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the dipstick in and I'm going to run it for about five minutes so that the oil can circulate. Let it cool down and then I'm going to check the level again. It may have to add just a bit more to get it up to the 1.06. There's probably some leftover oil in there from the previous black oil down there um, but the best way to figure that out is to run it and um, and then uh, check it again I'm gonna take it off the blocks now and run it for like five minutes so um, I just uh, started it and shut it off I'm gonna let it uh, let it cool down for about five minutes and um, just to make sure I wanted to get this on level ground so we can check the oil level properly. Um, had to use like a this is like a five inch, five eighths inch piece of plywood. And my driveway goes down slightly, so that's um, it's pretty level. Uh, so let's um, unscrew this and see what we got. I'm gonna clean it once and put it back in. In. I think it needs a little bit more and it should if I got out all the oil it should take another 0.06 quarts <laughs> which is not easy to measure but uh, best way is just use the dipstick put a little bit more in use the dipstick and check it yeah see I'm not comfortable with that it does need a little bit more you can see it's halfway up the stick I want to get it just a little bit higher. Um, it's hard to tell when it's clear, but the best way to read it is on the side here. It should be up to that H. So um, I'm going to let it cool just a little bit more and then add a hair more oil. So I just opened another container. I'm not going to go crazy here because it should just take a little, a few pours and we should be up to H. For high. Just do a very little at a time and then recheck it. So I just took out the dipstick, cleaned it off. Now I'm going to put it back in and check the level again. We should be very close. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're there. I mean, we're, we're very close to H, um, which is what we're looking for. So, I think I'm going to call it quits. Um, oil has changed. Put the dipstick back in and call it a day. Make sure that you change your oil on your generator. Uh, based on the specs that are in your handbook um, This is Supposed to after you use it for the first time you should change it Every um, after the first 30 hours, and this is way past the first 30 hours But I couldn't have changed the oil in the middle of needing it. So I think this is the next best best thing. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video and uh, don't forget to maintain your own 
generator um, so that it'll last and it'll be available whenever you need it in the future. What I'm going to do with this old oil is I'm going to put it into this container, which is the one I just used, and dispose of it properly. We have a place that uh, can take it nearby.